Hello, John from VideoFort.com here, bringing you a new series of After Effects tutorials. We are going to be covering the basics of After Effects in this series. So, uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the learning. It's going to be a lot of fun, guys. We're going to teach you everything you need to know about After Effects so that you can start watching our more advanced tutorials and doing really awesome effects for your projects and footage. So let's get started. On the left hand side we've got our project window. Now this is where we're going to be importing all the media we'll be working with in our projects. To import media we can go up to file down to import and then choose file again. You've got a few other options here but if you just choose file you can pretty much pick any file you want to go with. After Effects accepts many file formats and that's how that'll go. So we're gonna go into my tutorial assets folder to view some footage. Notice how you can navigate through just like you would any other program and you can select a single file you can hold down the command key if you're on a Mac, control key if you're on a PC, and select a bunch of files or multiple files individually or like that. You can also select the first file and hold down the shift key and do a sequence of folders in a row. And you can also, from there, hold down the control key or command key if you're using a Mac or PC and deselect files as well. So pretty much it works like any other operating system. Now if you go back up a folder you can also import a whole entire folder too just by clicking open and it'll import that entire folder for you. There are two other ways to import as well. You can right click inside the project window, choose import file and that'll bring you to the same screen and you can also double click inside the project window to bring you to the import file. Let's go ahead and import three of these videos here. Now the videos that I'm working with have been shot three different ways. One was shot in a car, one was shot on foot, and the other was shot on a boat. I'm on a boat, mother! <laughs> yes, we all know that song. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and import these files. Now once they're imported, we're going to go ahead and rename them. To rename, you simply hit the enter or return key and start naming them. You will name them according to how they were shot. Now I know how they were shot because I'm looking at this thumbnail up here. If we want to bring up a bigger view of that, we can double click on it and that'll bring it up and then we can also scrub through to verify, oh yes, this is the footage that we want. So this one's going to be the foot footage. And once again, to change the name, you simply just hit the enter key and that'll bring it up so that you can change it to whatever you want to call it. You also notice that I put a number at the end of each one of these. Let's say later on I want to import some more footage from the same project and they're different boat shots or car shots. I'm going to be able to bring them in and have everything nice and organized. I'm pretty big on that. So from there, let's go ahead and create a folder by clicking on the create a new folder button. And we'll call this 00 underscore assets. I like to name my folders and number them so that they stay in a nice order. And if I'm going to pass my project off to a coworker or an associate, or let's say I've been away from my project for a month or two and I need to return to it to do some more work. I have everything nice and organized so I can find it right away instead of spending, you know, 10 minutes trying to figure out what I called this and another 10 minutes trying to find where I put that. Just put it all in the right place at the beginning and you won't have to worry about that later on down the road. So we'll go ahead and highlight this footage and drop it into our assets folder. Now, when I bring in more boat footage or car footage or even foot footage, Maybe uh, I'll create folders for each one of those to organize it even better, but let's just leave it like this for now. So from here, we're going to go ahead and create a new composition. 
To do that, we're going to go up to Composition at the top, New Composition. And right here, we're going to be able to rename our comp. So let's go ahead and do that right from the start. This composition is going to have our boat footage in it. So let's name it Boat. And we can choose from a whole list of different presets that After Effects has to offer. We're just going to keep it at custom right now, though. And 1920 by 1080. Same thing with pixel aspects ratio. We can choose a whole bunch of different things, but we're just going to keep it at that for right now. And this is the frame rate for the composition. Now, I would make it the same frame rate as whatever footage you've imported. It helps everything play back nicely. Down here, this is going to be the resolution that it'll play back at. We can also alter the time code. And another important note, the duration. If you want to have your duration longer, you can make it longer. If you want it shorter, you can make it shorter. But just know that it is set. So it will not extend past whatever it is here. If you add more footage past 30 seconds, it won't go past 30 seconds. It's going to be locked at 30. Um, so in Final Cut and Premiere, your timeline will usually extend for you. In After Effects, it will not. You'll have to go back into your comp settings and change that, which you can do. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and say OK and move on. So you notice that as soon as you make the composition, it brings you a new comp window and it brings you a composition timeline also named Boat. Both of these are named Boat. It also gives you a new comp over here, a new file over here. So let's go ahead and create a new folder and name it 01 underscore comps. And this will be the folder where we store all of our compositions. Like I said, it's nice to be organized in case you need to transfer your work to another person or pick back up on it a few months down the road. You'll be able to find things a lot better and you'll thank yourself in the long run. So we have our boat composition inside our comps folder and we have it opened up over here. This is our comp monitor. This is where we'll be able to view any changes we make to a composition. And just underneath that we have our composition timeline. This is where we'll be able to see the different layers in our composition and make different alterations and set keyframes and view the timing of the project. So to import footage into our composition, we simply just go to the folder or wherever it's stored in our project window over here and drag it either onto the comp window or we can drag it down into the timeline. You notice if you drag it into the timeline, it centers it for you. If you drag it into the comp window, you're going to have to set it on center if you want it to be centered. From there, I'm going to show you guys inside the project window a couple different ways to alter your footage that you've imported. If you right click on the footage, you can go down to interpret footage and main. And this is kind of your info settings for your footage over here. You can make it conform to a different frame rate if you know it was shot at a different frame rate. You can also alter time code here. And if you're working with some interlaced footage, you can separate the fields. Or if you're working with 24p footage, you can also alter it and do some different settings there. Uh, you can also choose from a bunch of different aspect ratios as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. So now that we have footage imported into our composition timeline, and we have our comp window set up, we're able to check out what the preview settings can do for us. Now, the preview pane over here on the right hand side uh, is kind of like our playback settings. So in After Effects, it uses a RAM preview to playback all media. That means that it's going to use the computer's RAM and save a certain amount of the video on that space to play back the video. Um, it's just how After Effects works. So if we hit the RAM preview button, you notice that the green status bar starts filling up on us. And once it gets to the end, it'll start playing back our footage smoothly. We can also choose to have it set and only play a certain amount of our work area by dragging the handle on the right hand side over here and this is how you can set our workspace area. So I'm going to set it to here. We can also set the beginning over here. 
And now if I hit RAM preview, it's only going to RAM preview this section here. And you notice that it goes in a loop. If you don't want it to go in a loop, just next to the preview RAM preview button is the loop settings. Now, I have it set to play on a loop. If I click it again, it's going to go in a ping pong manner. That means it'll play forwards, then backwards. And if I click it one more time, in this setting, it'll only play one time through. I like to keep it on the loop, though, because then I can really watch any changes I make to a shot. If we move on down the left, we can also mute the audio if we have any audio in it. This will allow us to go to the last frame in the entire composition. This will take us to the next frame. This will do just a regular play. This button allows us to go back frame, and this will take us to the very beginning of a composition. We can also alter the playback frame rate. This will not change the frame rate of your composition, only the frame rate that and as we get more intense with our After Effects project, we can choose to skip frames so that the playback speed goes faster, as well as changing the resolution too. You notice we can do quarter, third, half, full. If we have it set to auto, it's gonna be whatever we have our composition windows resolution set at. So if we have it set to a quarter on our composition here, and we have auto here, then it's going to play back at a quarter of the resolution super fancy. Staying in the composition window in the middle here we can check out the magnification settings. We can zoom in and zoom out using these. If you're working with a mouse with a scroll button you can also use that to zoom in or if you're working on a trackpad you can use your two finger scroll to zoom in or out as well. And if you hold down the Alt Option key, it will zoom in on wherever your mouse point is, which is another handy feature. If you hold the space bar, it'll bring up this hand and you can move your composition window and readjust it so it's centered. But let's go ahead and check out another cool feature that After Effects has to offer, which is the Fast Previews feature. You notice how it's on adaptive resolution right now. Now what that means is when I sub through my project here, it's going to allow me to see it being scrubbed through and it'll do it fairly smoothly. And this is nice when you start working with a project that has lots of files and, and media that you're working with. So it lowers the quality for you, but it allows you to scrub through so you can work on your project slightly quicker. It's a nice feature to know about. And just so you know, if at any point in time you need to make changes to your composition settings, you can go up to the top and choose Composition, Composition Settings, and alter all of that right here. So let's say we need to make it shorter or longer. We can go right into here and say, I actually want it to be 10 seconds now instead of 30 seconds, and then just say OK. And now our composition is 10 seconds. Another way to do that would be setting our work area. So if we set our work area to a certain section, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this to here. Slide, oops, slide that over as well. And then if we right click on the work area, we can say trim comp to work area. And that'll do the same thing. And with that, we conclude our first lesson in After Effects. Congratulations guys, I'm sure you did a wonderful job. Stay tuned because in the next episode we're going to learn how to apply effects to our comps and set keyframes. Very awesome stuff. This is John with Videofort.com. Click on the subscribe link over to the right there. We would love to keep you up to date with our free tutorials and templates so that you can keep coming back for more and learning awesome stuff from Videofort.com. Also, make sure to check out our great stock footage over at Videofort.com. Got some really cool stuff from the air and from the boats and from foot and car and just all over the place. Check it out. Let us know what you think. and. Keep us up to date with what you're doing on your projects. We'd love to check it out. Have a great day, guys. Later.